Hey Will, this is your uh, quick little hitting video. Um, we're going to put a few things together. Basically what we're going to do is uh, first show your swing at full speed. Then we're going to go ahead and slow down your swing and kind of analyze each spot. And then I have two other videos um, or two other portions of your swing next to a pro swing. So we can kind of compare of, um, what we're doing and where we can make some improvements. Alright. Okay, let's take a look at your swing full speed. All right, you're making contact, but you're a little off balance. So let's break it down right here. You're balanced at set, which is great. Your hands are in good position, bat's in good position right there. But as the ball starts to come, you're going to see your hands um, actually get in very good position, but you drop the bat flat, which makes it a very rotational swing, which is not always bad. Um, but what it's making you do is really clear your hips out. Your hips are almost facing third base. You turn so far. See your hands here, good position, but watch, see how your bat goes flat right there. You have that little toe tap, which isn't horrible, but look, your, look how far your hips clear. It's beyond, you know, parallel there, and it throws you off balance. See how your back foot has to move over to adjust, um, and you're stopping your swing kind of three quarters of there so you can get back and get set. So what we have to work on is basically just keeping our head over our belly button. We've got to let the ball travel. We know we have to work on that. Um, but I think our hands and bat need to be in better position and just slow down your hips just a little bit. Um, let's show you real quick you and probably one of the most balanced hitters right there is D. Gordon. Look at his head over his belly button. Hat or hands and bat never change position. As the back hip fires, hands are firing in unison. If you watch yours a little bit to the right, um, you're leading a little bit with your head there, but your hips clear so much. Look at your back foot compared to his back foot. It's the balance, um, and it's making it's throwing you off balance. Very overextended. When you finish, you need to be able to finish on balance. So we got to work on slowing down that hip turn just a little bit, or making it in really in unison um, with your swing, and that's going to help you. Okay, one more we'll take a look at um, at you at the same time as you and Andrew McCutcheon. Okay, let's take a look at you and Andrew McCutcheon. Probably isn't fair. This guy has unbelievable power. But most importantly, if you watch his hands, um, he gets his foot back down before his hips start, which keeps his head over belly button. Okay, the basics. But watch how his back hip and hands fire in unison. Okay. Now, your moving of your back foot, if you watch here, his back foot almost comes off the ground at impact, but it's already at impact. Okay, right there, he's at full impact, heads over belly button, heads down, um, and balanced. Your head's in front, it's over your front foot. So look at the comparison, right there, side by side. Okay, keeping him balanced, your head over your front foot. So we got to stay back just a little bit. It's hard, you don't ever want to say just you have to stay back, you have to stay balanced. Okay, and it's going to make you come through the ball that much uh, stronger. Alright, so I hope that helps. Again, one last time with yours. Um, if you look at your head, we're leading a little bit with our head and it ends up over our front foot and we're hopping at the end. So you want to make sure that you're finishing balanced. I think that can be done with just our, our bat being a little higher position and we'll try and work your hands and your back hip in unison so they're moving together. Um, it just gives us something to work on. Gotta let the ball travel well and we're going to hit the ball out of the park, buddy.